Hey there, it's Mark Henninger, Senior Editor at AVS Forum. And here is some news about a couple of new networked AV receivers from Marantz. Okay, here's the situation. Where space is tight, but you refuse to settle for a skimpy soundbar, a low-profile AV receiver is the answer. For example, you might have a TV stand and the space between the shelves is only about that much. Okay. These two new models from Marantz, the $749 7.2 channel Dolby Atmos capable NR1609 and the $549 5.2 channel surround sound capable NR1509 are only 4.1 inches tall, so you can fit them into those tighter shelf spaces. Now, both AVRs handle the latest 4K UHD video formats, and that includes HDR and they feature the all-important HDCP 2.2 copy protection. Plus, there's support for 4K at 60Hz, and HDR is available for HDR10, HLG, also known as Hybrid Log Gamma, as well as Dolby Vision formats. Each model comes with one HDMI output, but with the NR1609, you get eight HDMI inputs as compared to six on the NR1509. On the audio side, these AVRs diverge considerably in terms of capability. The extra $200 for the NR1609 buys you two extra channels of processing and amplification. That, in turn, grants the AVR the ability to render 3D immersive audio in Dolby Atmos as well as DTSX formats. And that includes DTS Virtual X, which doesn't require upfiring or in ceiling speakers for a height effect. So, Aside from the number of amps, the audio specs between the two models are basically the same. Each one delivers 50 watts into an 8 ohm load with 0.8% total harmonic distortion. Plus, both models tout the inclusion of a phono input, just in case you want to add a turntable to your system. These networked AV receivers are equipped with Denon HEOS, or actually Denon Marantz's HEOS wireless multi-room music system. Furthermore, there's built-in support for Amazon Alexa, as well as numerous music streaming services, including the popular Spotify and Pandora. There's also support for Bluetooth plus Apple AirPlay, in case you want to just send music directly from your phone. Marantz's newest AVRs come equipped with Odyssey Multi-Q Room Correction, and this evens out the peaks and dips in frequency response that are caused by different room acoustics. Plus, a setup assistant offers an interactive means to ensure that your system is configured correctly the first time around. Furthermore, the NR1609 works with the $20 Odyssey Multi-Q Editor app, and that lets you customize Odyssey to your specific needs and taste. For example, you can determine what frequency range the correction is applied to. Another thing the NR1609 offers over the NR1509 is IP control, and more generally, commercial integrator-friendly support, meaning it'll play nice with home automation systems. So, slim AV receivers, they might not be for everybody. You do give up some connectivity, as well as output power, to cram all of that technology into a low-profile chassis. But if the choice is between that and a soundbar, the payoff is likely to be worth the effort. So clearly, if you have room for a larger AVR, then go for it. However, if you do not have space for a tall box, it's great to have options like these. Because in the end, who really wants a soundbar? Anyhow, that's the news from Marantz for now. Check out more AV news and reviews at avsforum.com. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe to this channel.